Well, what happened was that second game, we got our ass kicked, or the second half. We just got our ass totally kicked. We couldn't do diddly poo offensively. We couldn't make a first down. We couldn't run the ball. We didn't try to run the ball. We couldn't complete a pass. We sucked. The second half, we sucked. We couldn't stop the run. Every time they got the ball, they went down and got points. We got our ass totally kicked in the second half. That's what it boiled down to. It was a horse performance in the second half. Horse I'm totally embarrassed and totally ashamed. Coaching, our, we're all, our, our coaching did a horrible job. The players did a horrible job. We got our ass kicked in that second half. It sucked. It stunk. Well, good morning, good people. I know things are a little bit better since the Eagles got their teeth kicked in by Kurt freaking Cousins on Monday night. Uh, everything, everything's a little bit better. Even though it's raining outside, it's cleansing away our souls and things. You know, um, we need to deal with our Cowboys now because, you know, the Eagles have left the door open for us to, to realize that, you know, we got a chance. <laughs> we got a chance, okay? So... We need to make the most of this. And this is something that uh, a, a conversation that I've had with Walker Wade over, you know, many, many times when he says that, you know, Troy Aikman, you know, he elevated the team and things like that. And Dak Prescott is not that guy. Let me play something from Mark Slareth, okay? I want, I want you to listen to this for a second, okay? This is, this is key. Just listen. Open your mind. Open your damn mind for a second and think about what he says. In Dallas in 94, playing against the Cowboys, and I was a member of the Washington Redskins, and I'm out short snapping before the game. Now, this is Jerry Jones saying, hey, we paid Aikman all this money, and that's why we won championships. So I was taking inventory of the Dallas Cowboys as I was waiting for our offense to come out of the locker room so we could warm up, and their offense was already out there. I think they had Michael Irvin, Alvin Harper, Mark Tuane, Nate Newton, Mark Stepnowski, Larry Allen, and Eric Williams. They had Jay Novacek, Moose Johnson, Emmett Smith, and Troy Aikman. And I was watching, and I thought to myself, we don't have one guy on our offense that could start for the Dallas Cowboys. I do believe we're going to get our ass kicked tonight. And they kicked our ass. So, I mean, I don't think, listen, Troy was one of the great players ever in the history of the league. But that, that football that. team, that this football that. team was a juggernaut. Yeah. Forget it. I was. Think about that for a second. So, I want you to think about all of those players that he listed. You know, Michael Urban, Hall of Famer. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, Larry Allen, Hall of Famer, Troy Aikman, Hall of Famer, uh, Michael, uh, I'm sorry, Emmett Smith, Hall of Famer. You know, when you got four guys that are the best in the business, and then you have the offensive line that you had, I, my, my God, you can't look at this and say Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys have all of the same things there. You can't. And this is where, unfortunately, when you hear Stephen Jones say, well, you know, C.D. Lamb, C. D. Lamb he, he's going to have to take up the slack here. You know, he's going to need to get like 13, 15 touches a game. Uh, no, bro, that's not how it works in winning football. Yeah, you can do that. You can make sure that he gets those snaps and stuff. And you can say, well, Dak gets more on you and stuff, and say that he has to do more. I get that. But here's the reality of it is, it's freaking football. You saw the Eagles last night without A.J. Brown, how that offense didn't move. We've seen the San Francisco 49ers lose here without Christian McCaffrey. And it's going to be interesting to see how they play without Debo and Christian McCaffrey. They could go on a losing streak because that's what happened to them last year without Debo. They didn't have Debo for three games. They lost three games. Having the players there means a lot. Now, no disrespect to our players that we have right now, but we've got one big weapon in CeeDee Lamb. One big weapon in CeeDee Lamb, who is a beast. But if you're solely relying on just CeeDee Lamb, they're going to find ways to slow him down. You just are. And this is where it behooves the Cowboys to recognize we do need another viable weapon. When we hear Jerry Jones say, you know, our running game is it's nothing wrong with the running game and stuff. You know, we feel good about our running game. Okay, sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, thanks for, for trying to sell me the bullshit. The reality is, is you need a game changer. You need like what Bijan was last night for the Atlanta Falcons. You need to be 
like Saquon except for the last pay, the, you know, last pass play in the game. You need to have a guy that takes some of the pressure off the quarterback. You need another option for the quarterback to go so they can't just blanket coverage one guy, that they have to worry about somebody else taking up the slack. And that, my friends, was the winning formula for the Dallas Cowboys back in the day. You can say Troy Aikman was a great quarterback because he was, but he had a lot of people around there that were also helping to elevate him as he elevated them. And this is where All In actually should be coming in. This is where Jerry Jones should be like, you know what, I'm close. Oh, oh don't, don't, don't stay right here. Don't go anywhere yet. I, I'm sorry, I, my beautiful bride. I got, got, got to take care of some stuff for my beautiful bride. She's going to slip back down to her office and stuff downstairs. She was going to be in her office and I was going to be in mine. But no, we're going to make sure we take care of something up here before she goes. But sorry for, for interrupting. But you have to understand, you have to have the pieces. And this is where, being a Dallas Cowboy fan, you sit here and you look and you say, if we just had a piece or two here, it would make all the difference in the world. It would make all the difference in the world. And you look at other teams out there that are constantly trying to do that. Now, we, we can look at the landscape and we can see where definitely Saquon has made the Eagles better. Without Saquon, Saquon's getting a lot of crap today. Okay, he's getting a lot of crap because he dropped that pass wide open. I get that. But I'm going to say, without Saquon, they weren't in that game. They weren't in the game the week before. So that's been a bonus. But then you look at other guys like Devin White who can't, you know, he's a healthy scratch and things. And you can look around the league and you can see a lot of failed players. That's the risk that you take when you bring in other people. But just saying that there's a chance that this guy might not work out is not the reason not to try and make those moves. You have to take some risk. If you don't risk the biscuit, you're not going to get fed. I uh, no, that uh, Huh? I am trying okay, actually it's, you know, uh, uh scared money don't make no money. How about that one? Okay? I don't know. Yeah, you know, if you already had a biscuit, you actually are getting fed. So, I don't know about risking the biscuit. You, you might lose the biscuit and you get nothing. But but uh, you know what I'm saying? You have to take some chances to go ahead and try and do something. And right now, you look across the NFC. Now, I, you know, shout out to New Orleans. They, they look like the real deal. Shout out to Mario and uh, John Ridgeway. Right now, Seattle, they're 2-0. They're looking really good. Minnesota, hey, congratulations on, on you know, getting to the start that you guys are having and stuff. You know, I don't know if that lasts. It's still early. But we've seen chinks in the armor. We've seen other teams that are good teams that are having some issues where you look and say, it's anybody's game. How can I increase my odds? And Jerry, it's time for you to do some all-in thinking right now. Right now. Let's let's instead of being on 105.3 the fan telling us trying to trying to sell, trying to make shit sign, uh, you know, shine with you know the running back. Oh no, we're good at running it. No, we're not. No, we're not. That that CD Lamb. Oh no, CD Lamb. You know he's a mon- no, not by himself. He needs some other help. We need to get back to what. Mark Sareth was talking about where it was just like they were a juggernaut. We need to be a juggernaut again. All right, you good people. As always, you know how we roll. I appreciate you guys and by the way, King Dick back here. And so before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. 